This is your government video on the Supreme Court case Marbury v. Madison, which is also Active Learning 6. Marbury v. Madison is arguably one of the most important Supreme Court decisions in U.S. history. It is the first Supreme Court decision where they outlined the powerful judicial review, which is the ability of the Supreme Court to determine whether things are constitutional or not. And in Marbury versus Madison, they decided to use this power directly against actions of the president and the Senate. The Constitution says that the president gets to appoint members of the court with Senate approval. So senators do have to vote and decide to confirm those appointments in order for new judges to get federal jobs. Remember, all federal judges serve life terms. So this is the case of the midnight judges. Outgoing president is really upset his party did not win the next presidency. And because his party also had a majority of senators, they decided to pack the court, meaning open up a whole bunch of spaces. They used their power in Congress to increase the number of judges and openings. The current president appoints a whole bunch of members of his own party to these judgeships. The Senate confirms those appointments. Well, the next day, the new president comes in, is very upset about what happens. James Madison happens to be the Secretary of State, and the new Secretary of State, James Madison, does not want to give these judges their jobs and holds back on the delivering of the paperwork for these positions. And that's what triggers Marbury versus Madison. Marbury is one of these judges who believes that he should have gotten his job, and he's suing Madison because Madison didn't follow through with the paperwork. So for your active learning, you're going to go to a website called oyez.org, O-Y-E-Z.org. This is a case that has really nice summaries of Supreme Court cases. And you're going to look up in the search feature Marbury versus Madison. On the home page, you can read the facts of the case. And then they have outlined three important questions about this particular case. These are the case questions that the Supreme Court had to uh, decide and then explain in their case decision. So take these three questions for your active learning. You can use oes.org and you can work with others to determine the answers to these questions. And then you can also use the conclusion section to find your answers.